Rihanna again celebrates diversity at her fashion show. Legends ACDC are coming back. And what is the sound of Milky Way? Plus a new portion of fresh releases and meeting with French singer Victor Sol. This is Sam Muse Lock. I'm Jenny. Let's start the show. Hi everybody, it's a new week of the most interesting music news and today I wanna start it with not new music unfortunately, but new fashion show of Rihanna. This girl keeps celebrating diversity and makes more spectacular performances. This time we can see celebrities aka models like Lizzo, Willow Smith, Demi Moore, Paris Hilton and many many more. The list was huge. Also, new innovation, new addition was a collection for men. So thanks for this nice performance of hot and sexy boys. I guess this time she just filled in all types of models. We could see transgenders, ordinary models, plus size models, drug queens, elder models and boys. That's why the next tab is the collection for maybe domestic animals because I don't know what she may create next time. This lingerie spectacle had special music guests like Bad Bunny, Ella May, Miguel, Mustard, Roddy Rich, and Rosalia with Travis Scott. So thanks for this, young blood is a power. Of course, the queen of the show, Rihanna, didn't perform. She just opened the show, walked a little post, and that's it. That's just enough for you. Great news! ACDC returns! Brian Johnson, Cliff Williams, Phil Rudd announced that they come back on the stage. Rihanna, baby, it's a good example for you. The rumors has it that the title of the album will be Power Up because some fans noticed it at one promo poster and there was a website with such title. Probably the album is finished because the members of the group were noticed at studio in 2018 and it means that we can get it very very soon. There is information that the album will drop before Christmas. If it happens, 2020 will be a little bit brighter. NASA turned astronomical images into suns. How it happened? The inherently digital data captured by telescopes in space was translated into images. Then astronomers created visual representations that can be visible for us. The sonification process helped to translate these images into sounds. Different signals got the sounds of different musical instruments. Also, each sound represents the place and the brightness of the source. So now you can easily listen to the center of Milky Way galaxy. I'm gonna use these sounds for my yoga classes because it immediately moves you to the space. Highly Productive Californian group The Neighborhood dropped their fourth album Cheap Home and The Monotones. Conceptually, I like this album because we got new character Cheap Home portrayed by uh, frontman Jesse. As for sound, I would describe it as different stages of a party. For example, in the beginning, everybody is excited, they want to get new experience. Then uh, the pitch of the party, when everybody has funny things, my life is beautiful. But the end is wasted, boring and maybe a little bit sad. Uh, I skipped the last th three songs. For me, it was not a really um, 
interesting material. The band admitted that they will never write something like Sweater Weather Banger and it's okay for them. They don't want to be that industry plant and it's a position, it's a good position. It means that the neighborhood uh, they just found their place and they want to deliver their own thoughts. New video levitating from British pop princess Dua Lipa. It was one of the most anticipated works and Dua decided to team up with Day Baby. As usually we got something dancey, sparkling and shining. Also there were uh, some TikTok stars who danced with Day Baby and Dua Lipa. But you know, I worry about one thing. Dua got stuck in collaborations. I mean, she dropped one of the best albums of this year, but track by track, she just collaborates with diff different stars. I, I don't understand for what. <laughs> Actually, I understand for rising sales, but it shouldn't be in such amount. Please do a stop. I guess the levitating video and song was perfect even without Day Baby, but Dua decided in another way. Uh, I hope that things will change and we get something solo. But now we have what we have. Debut album CMFT from Corey Taylor. Something that Slipknot fans couldn't expect, but it makes it more interesting. There are some songs written when Corey was a teenager and some modern stuff. The album was inspired by music of Johnny Cash, Ice Cube and Black Flag. And you can hear this influence in different songs. This is multi-genre album and for example you can listen to songs in rap core, soft rock, classic hard rock and punk style. I guess the majority of Slipknot fans may say that Corey betrayed all standards and should be harder. But for me it's like a side project of Corey where he expressed what he wanted. That's it. It's a pure experiment and I guess the result is pretty cool. Of course not the best album but it's only the beginning. Well, 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 boys and girls, today I want to introduce you French singer Victor Sol with melting voice and tender music. Probably we wouldn't know him as a solo artist because he was a part of group Her, but unfortunately his bandmate and friend Simon died from cancer in 2017. Sol had to finish their album and start a solo career. His debut EP after mass has some notes of her sound but also we can discover his strong side ballads when this key sound and when his voice combine we just get something really really beautiful his second nature can be seen in his mixtape 12 Monkeys where the music is more dancing and weird but he doesn't forget about piano. I like to follow this guy because his music has high level and it's always interesting what's the next. Totally recommend you to listen to his albums, a piece and express your opinion. What do you think about him? And it's time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. I hope it was informative and interesting for you. Please don't forget about likes, comments, subscription and the bell. I really, really wait for our next meeting. So see you. It was Sam Vlog. Jenny, 